happy morning my dear children today we are going to discuss about that p block element 2 unit number 3 oxo acids of phosphorus structure oxo acids of phosphorus preparation first we have to learn about the preparation here having five different formulas one is about that hypo phosphorus acid second one is about that ortho phosphorus acid the third one hypo phosphoric acid fourth one ortho phosphoric acid fifth one pyro phosphoric acid what are they hypo phosphorus acid ortho phosphorus acid hypo phosphoric acid ortho phosphoric acid pyro phosphoric acid these are the five types first one hypo phosphorus acid before learning this formula first we have to learn the phosphorus acid formula what is the formula of phosphorus acid h3 po3 otherwise ortho phosphorus acid h3 po3 if i am removing one oxygen from phosphorus acid one oxygen so what is the formula h3 po2 can you remember what is that one hypo phosphorus acid next to come to learn about the remaining three formulas first one we have to take ortho phosphoric acid otherwise phosphoric acid what is the formula h3 po4 h3 po4 here first i am going to multiply in this formula by 2 multiply by 2 so we can be written as 3 into 2 is equal to 6 i am right that is h6 next p into 2 is equal to p2 4 into 2 is equal to 8 h6 p2 o8 here from this compound i am removing one molecule of hydrogen peroxide removing one h2 o2 one h2 o2 so what is the formula becomes how the formula becomes h4 p2 o6 can you remember first you have to write the phosphorus acid sorry phosphoric acid multiplied by 2 what is the phosphoric acid formula h3 po3 multiplied by 2 so what is the formula h6 p2 o8 removing one hydrogen peroxide so what is the formula h4 p2 o6 come to below pyro phosphoric acid again say like that multiplied by 2 from the ortho phosphoric acid ortho phosphoric acid formula h3 po2 multiplied by 2 means h6 p2 o8 here i am removing one water molecules remove one water molecules what is the formula become h4 p2 o7 this we have to write the formulas next about that oxidation state of uh, hypophosphoric phosphorus acid h3 po2 first you have to take the all alkali metal that is hydrogen having plus 1 so 3 into plus 1 3 into 1 plus phosphorus we can be taken as x plus 2 into minus 2 we equal to 0 3 plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 minus 3 equal to plus 1 oxidation state can you clear then ortho phosphorus acid formula 
ഹാഷ് ത്രീ പി ഒ ത്രീ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ കാൻ ബി ടേക്കൺ എസ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു പ്ലസ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ഫാസ്ഫറസ് കാൻ ബി ടേക്കൺ എസ് സി എക്സ് പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു മൈനസ് ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ത്രീ പ്ലസ് ഇ എക്സ് മൈനസ് സിക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഇ എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിക്സ് മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിക്സ് മൈനസ് ത്രീ എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫാസ്ഫറസ് ആസിഡ് ഹൈപ്പോ ഫാസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് വാട്ട്സ് എ ഫാർമുല ഹിയർ ഹൈപ്പോ ഫാസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് ഹൈച്ച് ഫോർ പി ടു ഓ സിക്സ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു പ്ലസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു വൺ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു ഇ എക്സ് പ്ലസ് സിക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു മൈനസ് ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഫോർ പ്ലസ് ടു എക്സ് മൈനസ് ട്വൽവ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ടു എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ട്വൽവ് മൈനസ് ഫോർ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എയ്റ്റ് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എയ്റ്റ് ബൈ ടു ദസ് അബൌട്ട് പ്ലസ് ഫോർ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഹൈപ്പോ ഫോസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് പ്ലസ് ഫോർ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് ദ ആർത്തോ ഫോസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് വാട്ട്സ് എ ഫാർമുല ഹച്ച് ഫോർ ഹച്ച് ത്രീ പി ഒ ഫോർ ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു വൺ പ്ലസ് ഫാസ്ഫോറസ് ടേക്കണസ് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു മൈനസ് ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ത്രീ പ്ലസ് എക്സ് മൈനസ് എയ്റ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എയ്റ്റ് മൈനസ് ത്രീ എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് ദാറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഓക്സിഡീസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ആർത്ത് ഓഫ് ഫാസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് അബൌട്ട് ദ പൈറോ ഫോസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് എ ഫാർമുല ഹിയർ ഹച്ച് ഫോർ പി ടു ഓ സെവൻ ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു പ്ലസ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു എക്സ് പ്ലസ് സെവൻ ഇൻറ്റു ടു മൈനസ് ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഫോർ പ്ലസ് ടു എക്സ് മൈനസ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോർട്ടീൻ മൈനസ് ഫോർ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടെൻ എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടെൻ ബൈ ടു ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് ഓക്സിഡീസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ലൈക് ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ലേൺ ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് അബൌട്ട് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ യു പ്രിപ്പേർഡ് ഓക്സോ ആസിഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫാസ്ഫറസ് ഓക്സോ ആസിഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫാസ്ഫറസ് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ യു പ്രിപ്പേർഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ദ പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹൈപ്പോ ഫാസ്ഫറസ് ആസിഡ് ഫാസ്ഫറസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പി ഫോർ റിയാക്സ് വിത്ത് വാട്ടർ മോളിക്യൂൾസ് we get h3 po2 and also we get phosphine already the equation we learn phosphine preparation phosphine phosphorus reacts with water we get h3 po2 plus ph3 so how can you balance the equation how much phosphorus atom the reactant side for so make it the product side One phosphine and three has three BO2. So the hydrogen, hydrogen. Phosphorus, phosphorus is balanced. What about the hydrogen? The product side. Six plus three is equal to nine. So make it uh, six. Three, three, seven, nine. Nine plus three. 12 6 into 2 is equal to 12 now the equation is balanced what about the next one ortho phosphorus acid by the reaction between p4o6 p4o6 plus water molecules we get h3po3 how can you balance the equation how much phosphorus phosphorus atom is there four phosphorus make it four how much hydrogen is there four three is equal so make it two equation is balanced next about 
phosphorus reacts with the oxygen we get phosphorus reacts with the oxygen in the presence of water we get H4P2O6 that we are saying hypophosphoric acid H4P2O6 H4P2O6 hypophosphoric acid how can you balance the equation how much phosphorus is there 2 phosphorus so make it 2P next about how much hydrogen is there in the product said 4 so make it 2 water molecules how much oxygen is there the product said 6 oxygen make it 2 into here 2 into 2 is equal to oxygen 2 into 2 4 so now the equation is balanced next about H3PO4 how can you prepare already we learned that one P4O10 reacts with the water we get H3PO4 how much phosphorus atom is there 4 so make it 4 on the product side how much about the hydrogen 12 so make it 6 into 2 is equal to 12 equation is balanced what about the pyrophosphoric acid how can you write the equation H3PO4 that is about the phosphorus phosphoric acid this phosphoric acid is converted into H4P2O7 that is about the pyrophosphoric acid and also having hydrogen sorry having water molecules then how can you balance the equation the product said may having 6 hydrogen so make it react said 2 multiplied by 2 now the equation is balanced okay these are some area next we can we learn about how can we draw the structure of phosphorus oxo oxides of phosphorus structure So after the preparation, you have clear idea about the formulas, am I right? What is hypophosphorus acid formula? H2PO2. Orthophosphorus formula, H3PO3. Hypophosphoric acid formula, H4P2O6. Orthophosphoric acid formula, H3PO4. Pyrophosphoric acid formula H4P2O7. Okay. This structure we are going to learn now. Before that, there have some common arrangement of uh, this phosphorus, oxo acids of phosphorus, of their structure having some common arrangement. That is, some element have to arrange in such a way like that that is i am giving p double bond o oh this is common for all okay can you understand my dear children this is common for all structure common that is p o p double bond o oh this group is common for all Phosphorus with oxygen and OH group. So, first I am writing P upwards double bond oxygen, then right side OH. So, just to look now, hypophosphorus acid formula H3PO2. I am right. So, as per this formula, phosphorus is over. Out of three hydrogen, one is over, two oxygen is over. Which one are the remaining? That is, remaining is two hydrogen. So you have to make it two hydrogen and the two different sides. Now it is over, am I right? So this is the formula of hypophosphorus acid. Can you draw? Next, I told you that which is the common? P double bond O, OH is the common. So you have to write 
Next one, orthophosphorus acid, P double bond O, OH. Then come to the formula. Orthophosphorus acid, what is the formula? H3PO3. So out of this, PO OH is over, P double bond OH is over. What is the remaining? 2 hydrogen, so 2 hydrogen over. Oxygen. Out of 3, 2 over. Then 1 more. So, 1 side OH, 1 side having 1 H. Now the equation is over. Sorry. Formula, the structure is over. Next one. Hypophosphoric acid. Hypophosphoric acid. I told them which is the common. Which group is common? POOH. Here. Try to understand the concept. Before the two compounds having only one phosphorus, here having two phosphorus. Am I right? So two group is common. Two group. Don't forget that two. That is two POOH group is common. P double bond over the upside, left side OH. Okay. Same like that. Again, again we have draw P upper. OH, sorry, upper O, right corner OH. So, which, which is over? POOH is over. That this two group is over. Then count the formula. How much hydrogen is there? Four hydrogen. That is out of four, two is over. Remaining two. Then how much oxygen is there? Six oxygen. Out of six. 4 over remaining 2. So make it OH, OH. Next one. Arthophosphoric acid. Arthophosphoric acid. What is the formula? H3PO4. Okay. Then which one is the common? PO, OH is the common. Am I right? P, O, OH is the common. So how much oxygen have you remaining and how much oxygen, how much hydrogen is remaining? Out of three, one hydrogen is over, remaining two hydrogen. Then oxygen. Four oxygen, out of four, two is over then, remaining two. So we have to write OH one side, other side OH. Now the structure is over. Next about one of the very important question. Pyro. Phosphoric acid, pyrophosphoric acid. Try to learn the formula H4P2O7. H4P2O7. So, here also two phosphorus atom is there. So, make it two phosphorus. Phosphorus. Another word phosphorus. In making here connection, I am using one oxygen. Okay. Which are the common group? P O O H. Other one common group. P O O H. So now you count how much remaining. Remaining two hydrogen and also two oxygen. Already five oxygen is over. Two oxygen, then O H O H. That also over. Next about. We can be learn about that group 16 element, group 16 element. That is about the oxygen element, am I right? Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium, livermorium. These are some examples about the group 16 element. That we are saying about the group 16 elements are called as chalcogen. Chalcogen is otherwise called one of the very important questions, ore forming element. Chalcogen is what? Ore forming element. The first element, we can discuss about the first element. The first element is oxygen. It is the most abundant element. Most abundant element. It exists at an dioxygen in the air. That's about the 20% of uh, air oxygen having 
in never that atmosphere am right here one of the important point the most abundant element exists dioxin in air and it is a combined form of oxide for example oxygen and sulfur makes about 46.6 percentage and 0.034 percentage of earth crust by weight sulfur exists as sulfates sulfide exists as a single blend galena etc here we are calling this also present in a volcanic gash next level what are the physical properties we know oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium out of this except oxygen others everything are the solid state okay oxygen is only the gaseous form this is at the temperature is about 293 kelvin then atomic number of oxygen is 8 sulfur 16 selenium 34 tellurium 52 polonium 84 here what are the isotopes of oxygen is having single isotope oxygen 16 sulfur sulfur 32 selenium 80 tellurium 130 and polonium we have two isotopes po 209 and po 210 polonium 209 and polonium 210 try to learn the atomic mass oxygen atomic mass is equal to 15.99 sulfur 32.06 selenium 78.94 tellurium 197.68 polonium 209 these are some of atomic mass at 190 sorry 293 kelvin the electronic configuration configuration also already thorough it okay already thorough it if you have any doubt please call me okay helium using for oxygen sulfur using for neon selenium argon here we are using tellurium KR and also about the polonium, xenon, Xe. Next, atomic radius density you have to learn as per the theoretical part. Maybe ask about the one word. Next about the melting point and the boiling point. Melting point means here oxygen fifty four. Next about that sulfur. 388 selenium 494 tellurium 723 and polonium 527 maximum boiling point and about the sorry maximum about the melting point next about the boiling point oxygen 90 about the sulfur 718 selenium 954 tellurium 1261 and about that last one polonium polonium is about that 1235 this is about the boiling point next about how we can be prepared oxygen preparation of oxygen the atmosphere and water contain atmosphere and water contain 23 percentage of atmosphere contain oxygen water contain 83 percentage mass of oxygen respectively oxygen contain in the combined form industrially oxygen is obtained by the fractional distillation of liquefied air oxygen is prepared from the following method we are giving some of the following method 
first i am taking one of the carbon is about that hydrogen peroxide what is the formula of hydrogen peroxide h2o2 this undergoes decomposition we get the water molecules and about the oxygen we have to balance the equation two water molecules to make it two hydrogen peroxide next about hydrogen peroxide on reacts with alkaline kmn of potassium permanganate with acidified with sulfuric acid we get mn2 plus ion o2 gas plus water molecules h2o how can you balance the equation Product said make it five of oxygen. So the reactants in the hydrogen peroxide also make it five H two O two. Next oxygen. If you are making the product said two M N O four minus means we can be write the sorry reactant said 2mno4 minus means the product said we can be converted into eight molecules of water the ions said 2mn plus ions that also balanced next other another one important point is about that some of the metallic oxide some of the metallic oxide means magnesium oxide sorry uh, mercury oxide barium peroxide potassium chloride potassium nitrate this undergoes decomposition and heating this undergoes decomposition and heating mercuric oxide is converted into mercury plus oxygen barium peroxide and converted into barium oxide plus oxygen potassium chlorides is converted into potassium chloride plus oxygen potassium nitrate reacts with decomposition we get potassium nitrate and also oxygen these are the four steps first you have to balance the equation mercury oxide on heating we get mercury plus oxygen so what to here two oxygen so make it two there two mercury now the equation is balanced what about the barium peroxide BaO2 undergoes decomposition to form barium oxide BaO plus oxygen try to balance the equation 2 oxygen barium barium oxide 2 oxygen so products are to make it 2 BaO2 next about that potassium chloride formulas KClO3 this undergoes decomposition we get KCl plus O2 so how can you balance the equation oxygen we have to balance oxygen 3 into react cell 2 3 sir, 6 so make it oxygen 3 into O2 is equal to 3 O2 and also make it 2 KCl Next about potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is decomposed into potassium nitrite and oxygen. React said make it two, product said make it two. Now the reaction is balanced. Next about what are the properties of dioxygen, oxygen gas? Oxygen is a paramagnetic nature. 
there is about we are seeing about the unpaired electron am i right now understand everybody learn about that like nitrogen fluorine oxygen also form a strong hydrogen bond oxygen can be bonded with hydrogen oxygen exists in two allotropic forms namely dioxygen and trioxygen the trioxygen means we are saying ozone some small amount of ozone occur in the sea or sea level by the reaction between ultraviolet ray light then how can we prepare oxygen by means of a laboratory preparation by passing electric discharge through oxygen we are giving a potential about that 20000 volt about 10 percentage of oxygen is converted into ozone gives the remaining mixture is known as about that ozonized oxygen what is about the pure ozone pure ozone is a pale blue gas it is obtained by the fractional distillation of liquefied ozonized oxygen that is about that oxygen is converted into atomic oxygen atomic oxygen plus a one of the nascent oxygen gives o3 that is about the ozone already we learned that one then how can you draw the structure of ozone ozone molecule have a bent shape and symmetrically with delocalized bonding between the oxygen atom delocalized moving and sir moving first i told that how much element is there three element one element need eight electrons so 8 into 3 is equal to 18 sorry 8 into 3 is equal to 24 but here having one oxygen atom 6 to three oxygen atom means 6 into 3 is equal to 18 when you are minusing the 24 minus 18 we get 6 3 element having 6 bond having 3 element 3 bonds so make it here double bond one side and the other side we get single bond so now the bond is over how can you make it that electron dot structure previous i told you that if a single single bond have means make it six electron and double bond have make it four electron don't forget that single bond having Six electron, double bond having four electron. That is six plus four ten. Remaining we have two more electron dot. So make it the center of the oxygen. Make it two dot. How can you find the charge? Charge means the single bond here having one, two, three, four, five, six electron, and here also having seven. That is excess electron. So make it negative. that about the oxygen how can you find this one 1 2 3 4 5 so shortage of electron electron so make it plus what about this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 this oxygen everything is correct next one change the structure first we have to make it say single bond single bond oxygen double bond so make it here six electron 1 2 3 4 5 6 not least over 1 2 3 4 5 6 here also one having so excess electron having so make it negative what about the oxygen double bond oxygen double bond having is make it four so here make it plus means make it two electrons 
already we learned the electron dot structure single bond here having when you are counting valence electron is 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 having so negative charge what about the upside oxygen 1 2 3 4 pairs what about this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 so everything is over So we have today assignment. I'm giving the today assignment. When is about that? What are the preparation of oxo acids of phosphorus? Preparation of oxo acids of phosphorus and also about that structure of phosphorus. Thank you, Thank you. Have a nice day.